Hi, in this video I'll demonstrate how to wire up a basic DB board. Now this is a lab setup. You can see I have a plug circuit, I have an oven or stove disconnecting switch, and then I have a light in the top corner there and it's light switch. Now I'll show you how to wire this up. In this installation I'll be using the Samite rail. The circuit breakers look like this. You might also use a DIN rail and then you'll follow the same principles. Right, I have a photo showing the finished layout so you have this in your mind while I'm demonstrating. As you can see there's one earth leakage and there'll be three loads. This entire load setup will be protected via earth leakage. Right, these are the supply cables. These are 16 millimeter and all I need to do is connect them to my earth leakage. Right, it's very important to earth your setup. Here I've got an earth cable. Now in your home or office, you will need to earth your entire installation. This earth will then be connected to all your plumbing, railings, and possibly an earth spike outside that is hit into the ground. So the earth is connected to the earth rail. And as you can see, I've got some other earth cables here that have already been fastened here. This is the earth wire from my plug circuit. This is the earth wire from my light circuit. And this is the earth wire from my stove circuit. Can you see that all the earths are connected to the same place? Each earth wire has its own slot on this earth rail. Right, now all I need to do is insert the circuit breakers that I'm going to use. Now, if you were installing this on a DIN rail, you would follow the same principles. So over here, I have my stove circuit, my 20 amp is my plug circuit, my 10 amp is my light circuit in terms of this little setup. Right, so all I need to do now is wire up the output from the earth leakage circuit breaker to these circuit breakers. Right, so I want to go from the output of the live terminal of the earth leakage circuit breaker round the back to the input of the circuit breaker here for the stove or for any one of these circuit breakers. So here is the cable, I've formed it. Now I'm just gonna show you how I cut through the insulation. I'm just going to use this tool. All I do is I gently make a mark on the cable and then I just do that. Now what you'll notice is that I do not cut into the copper. If you cut into the copper, you will damage the copper and the copper strands will just break off. So all I'm doing now is actually pulling the insulation off. It's actually more a tearing and pulling rather than a cutting. Right, so there you can see I didn't go into any of the copper strands at all. Right, now I've wired it like this so you can see the wire. You can see it's coming from the output of the circuit breaker to the input of this top rail here. Now because I want all of these circuit breakers to have live voltage at the top there, I'm just going to use a bus bar. You can see there's a bus bar and all I do is I insert the bus bar so that all the circuit breakers are now connected together via that bus bar. Bus bars come in long lengths and in order to cut them all I do is I take my pliers and I make a indentation there and then once there's an indentation, I take the pliers and I bend it forward, back, forward, back, and it tears where you indented it with the pliers. Right, so that top row is now all connected to this live wire. So all I need to do now is tighten these screws. Right, now I've done the live, now all I need to do is give this DB board a neutral wire. Right, now I've already formed the neutral wire. All I'm going to do is connect the neutral from the output of the earth leakage circuit breaker to the neutral rail over here. Right, there is the neutral wire and I've run it this side so you can see clearly that the output of the circuit breaker, the live goes to the top rail and the neutral goes to the common neutral rail. Now it's time just to wire your loads. Right, so the first load is the stove. Now I want to take my four millimeter cable and wire it to the output of this circuit breaker. Right, so there is the live from the stove and then the neutral from the stove must go to the neutral rail. So there is the neutral from the stove going into the common neutral rail. Right, now in my lab I only happen to have the flexible wire, so if you're wondering why it looks like this, it's because this is flexible wire. Hopefully you'll have the solid core wires. Right, so that load is now connected. Now the next circuit here is my plugs. So here is my 2.5 millimeter plugs wire. This is the live, which I've now wired to the output of my 20 amp plugs circuit breaker. And then the neutral for the plugs wire, as you can see, must go to the same neutral rail 
Right, now in your case, you'll do it neatly. Now don't forget that each one of these circuits has its own earth wire. So you can see that the earth wire from the plugs is there and I've already wired the earth wire from the stove. There you can see. Right, now the final circuit is my lights circuit. There is my 1.5 millimeter cable and I connect that to my 10 amp circuit breaker for the lights. And now the neutral must go also to the neutral rail. Right, so there you can see all but not very neat. Here are all the neutral wires. Can you see that all the neutral loads are connected to the same place? And can you see the lives each have its own circuit breaker? 30 amp for the stove, 20 amp for my plugs, 10 amp for my lights. Now, very important is this is a basic setup where earth leakage protects all your loads. In some cases, wiring it like this results in nuisance tripping because some circuits, especially oven and lights, tend to trip the earth leakage and sometimes what we do is we use a separate circuit breaker to separate those circuits. However, in this particular video, I'm just showing you how to protect everything with one earth leakage circuit breaker. And that is the point of this video. Right, so everything is now connected. And all I need to do now is check my connections, make sure everything is tight, and then I'll close it up. And now I'll show you how to test it. Right, I have my multimeter here. And as you can see, when it's a short circuit, it will make a noise. And I just want to demonstrate the wiring layout here. As you can see, the incoming live is over there. When I put the lead on the output of the circuit breaker, you can see there is no connectivity because the circuit breaker is down. When I close the circuit breaker or put the circuit breaker up, you can see I have connectivity. Same with the neutral. So this means that this circuit breaker is a double pole circuit breaker, meaning that it opens both the terminals. So you are cutting off the live and the neutral when you drop this circuit breaker. Right, so from the input, when I close the circuit breaker, you can see I have connectivity. Now when I go over here, can you see that I have connectivity from that row? Can you see that I have connectivity there? Because look at this wire, it goes all the way there and to the supply. So that also means that if I want connectivity to my stove, which is my 30 amp, that the stove circuit breaker needs to be closed. And if I drop the stove circuit breaker, you can see I'm disconnecting the stove. And if I want to test the plug circuit, you can see it is off. And if I, and if I close the circuit breaker, there you can see I have connectivity. And there were the lights, close the circuit breaker, and there I have conductivity. And if I drop the earth leakage circuit breaker you can see that nothing is connected right now I put the face plate on now in your case you must blank those off you can get some plastic blanks you mustn't leave that open and then it's a good idea to label everything as you can see I've got a booklet here for my labels so I can take my sticker there and put lights for the 10 amp I can take a sticker here plugs and put it underneath the plugs circuit breaker there's my stove sticker and I can take it and put it under my stove circuit breaker. Your, then you have your main switch sticker and then your warning labels. Right, so everything is now on. I've switched on the in-feed and now if I switch on my plugs, you can see that the little light there has gone on. As you can see there, my soldering iron is now on. Here on the right hand side, I have my globe and my light switch and as you can see, I can switch on my light. Now, if I trip the 10 amp circuit breaker, you can see that I've disconnected my light circuit. If I drop the 20 amp circuit breaker, you can see that my soldering iron has switched off. Now, the stove circuit I have not connected, so it is irrelevant now. Right now, if I test my earth leakage, you can see that everything gets disconnected. The earth leakage is therefore protecting everything that is after it, and therefore when I drop the earth leakage, everything gets disconnected.